President Trump returned to the White House Sunday from a weekend retreat at Camp David. He met with cabinet members, military officials, and congressional Republican leaders. The president also spent some time bashing a new best-selling book about him and his administration. Here's Errol Barnett. Mr. President, why focus on the fire and fury book of its fiction? Returning from Camp David, President Trump avoided questions about his response to a scathing book, suggesting several White House staffers doubt his intelligence. This morning, Mr. Trump lamented he has had to put up with a fake book written by a totally discredited author. The author is a garbage author of a garbage book. Senior advisor Stephen Miller echoed Mr. Trump in denouncing comments made by former chief strategist Steve Bannon in Fire and Fury. It's tragic and unfortunate that Steve would make these grotesque comments so out of touch with reality and obviously so vindictive. Today, Bannon released this statement saying his support is, quote, unwavering for the president and his agenda. The controversy comes amid the president's request for $18 billion to build a border wall with Mexico. We want the wall. He is facing resistance from Democrats. Who want the status of undocumented children addressed first. Senator Bernie Sanders. 77 percent of the American people in a recent poll suggested that they wanted to see legal status for these young people. The American people, in fact, do not want to spend billions of dollars on a wall. Republican Senator Tom Cotton. But if the Democrats want to shut down the government because they can't get amnesty for illegal immigrants, then they're going to have to defend those actions to the American people. Now, President Trump on Monday speaks to farmers in Nashville before flying down to Atlanta to attend the college championship football game between Alabama and Georgia. The president also delayed his corrupt media awards until Wednesday, he says, because of unexpected interest. Elaine? Errol, thank you.